Hello and welcome to part six of my interval series. Today we're going to be listening to melodic ascending intervals and we're going to be associating melodies with them because it can be really hard to remember what an interval sounds like, but if we associate a famous melody or a melody that we know really well with that interval, then it becomes a lot easier to remember it. You know, for instance, a minor second ascending interval sounds like this. And that's also the Jaws theme song, right? So if someone said, hey, can you sing me a minor second up from this note? I go, ah, and I think about the Jaws theme song. Da -da, da -da. So that's what we're going to be doing. Because this associating with melodies, it's super helpful for when you're starting out. And uh, well, it's helpful for later down the road too, even if you're not just starting out. But it's really helpful, especially when you're starting out, to be able to memorize a melody with each interval. Just so that you can associate it. And I'm going to be choosing melodies where it's usually the first two words in the song um, or in the chorus, but I'll, I'll specify that for you. Three super quick things I'm going to say before we begin. First thing, if you want to jump ahead to any specific interval or section in the video, I have timestamps in the description below. Second thing, next week I'm going to be posting a video on descending intervals, so we'll be doing the exact same concept but with descending intervals. So stay tuned for that video as well. And third thing is, I think this is very important, I think it is much better to associate one melody with each interval. When I started doing this process, I would write down, you know, a bunch of different songs that all or can be associated with one interval. And then when it came time for me to remember what the song was, I would forget because I chose, you know, four different songs that it could, could go with. So you could write down as many as you want, but I want you to, with a pencil and paper, choose or circle the one that you're going to use for each interval. Because I, as I said, I think it's best if you just associate one melody with each interval because it's a lot easier to remember if you just pick one song and you're like that's my that's my major six interval song yep that when i when i think about major six i think about that melody line and it's easy to remember i don't try to think about four different songs just one song so that's my little tip okay let's jump into it so our first interval that i mentioned briefly in the introduction is our minor second ascending interval so for an example two notes that could play this ascending interval would be c and d flat obvious one that we went over is the Jaws theme song. Another one could be Stormy Weather. Um, it's at the very beginning of the song. Don't know why. So on the words don't and know. Don't know why there's no sun up in the sky. Okay, and then also it happens in the words stormy weather, right? Stormy minor second. Don't know why. Okay, so that's another good one. Cool. All right, now let's do major second ascending interval. So that would be like from the notes C to D. So some melodies that are good to associate with major second are Frere Jaca, Frere Jaca, the first two notes in Frere Jaca. The same with um, Happy Birthday, Happy Birthday, Happy Birth. So on P and Birth, Happy Birth, Happy Birthday to you. That's another one, happy birthday. Um, another one would be Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Do -do C, D, major second. Okay. Another one could be Silent Night, Silent Night. I think we've got a lot of Christmas songs on this list, so just, just a warning. Silent Night. Okay, that's one. Another one is just the simple Do, Re, Mi, Fa, you know, a major scale. Do, Re, on Do, Re, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, right? That's another one you could use. Um, also, So This Is Love, the song So This Is Love. So this is love. I like that one, again, because it goes back and forth between the two notes a lot. So this is love. The same way the Jaws theme song went back and forth a lot. And then, So this is love. So that's a good one. That, so this is love, I think. But again, you can pick your favorite one. Maybe you don't know that song. Um, pick your favorite one from that list. Write it down. Also, there are obviously many, many melodies that I'm leaving out from this list. So if you have melodies that you like to use to associate with certain intervals, please, please write them in the comments below because I think other people will find it really helpful because, you know, these are songs I know, but maybe you know other songs that another person would know too. So 
I think it would be really helpful if you share your melody ideas that do have these intervals in them. So spread the love. Okay, next we've got a minor third ascending interval. So that sounds like this. So that's a C to an E flat. And my favorite one to associate with this is green sleeves. Alas, my love, you do. So alas, just the first two notes of green sleeves. Alas, my love, you do me wrong. Cool. Okay, now we'll do major third ascending interval. So that would be like C to E. So um, I, my favorite one for this is when the, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints. So it's oh and when on those two words. You have that major third ascending interval. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints. And it just keeps repeating it over and over and over again, that line, right? Do, 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 do. So that's a good one. Another one is uh, Kumbaya. Kumbaya, my love. Right? That's another one. Um, again, many others I'm leaving out. Please write them down in the comments below if you think of them, but those are two good ones. By the way, if you want a PDF printout of all these songs that I'm telling you, I have a link to download that in the description below. It just is a write-up of the different intervals, the notes like C to E, the name of the interval, and then the songs that I'm mentioning today. Cool? So you can download that in the description below. Uh, check it out. Okay, next we have a perfect fourth ascending interval. And there's a lot of melodies I can think of pretty quickly for this one. Um, for instance, a very famous one is Here comes the bride. Do, da, da, da. That's a good one because it kind of it drills that second note a lot. Do, 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 do. Here comes the bride. Perfect fourth. Um, another one is Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace. Another one is Hark the herald angels sing. Hark the herald angels sing. Hark the herald angels sing. I told you there's going to be a lot of Christmas songs on this list, even though it's August. <clears throat> Bear with me. And another one is, Oh, Christmas tree. There's also, We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish, right? Um, it sounds like if you want to write a good Christmas song, you need to start with a perfect fourth interval. That's the, that's what I'm getting here. Um, no, I'm just kidding, but maybe. There are a lot of Christmas songs that start with a perfect fourth interval. Hmm. It's a conspiracy. It's a Christmas conspiracy. Another song that's not a Christmas song is Someday My Prince Will Come. Someday my prince will come. Um, another one is Old Lang Syne. For old acquaintances. Right, that's another one. Oh, and then um, Taps. Like, day is done. Do, 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 do. Right? All those songs are good examples of a perfect fourth ascending. My favorite one to use is Here Comes the Bride. Da 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 da. Because it do, do 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 It just repeats it over and over again. Cool. So next up we have um, a juicy one, our tritone. So C to F sharp or C to G flat is our tritone. Some famous examples of melodies that start with the tritone ascending are Maria from West Side Story. Maria, I just met a girl named Right? Beautiful song. Beautiful opening interval. <clears throat> also, another famous one is the theme song to The Simpsons. The Simpsons. Do, 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 do. But on that. The Simpsons. So, you could pick maybe which one you prefer, but those are both two very good examples. Next, we have a perfect fifth ascending interval. So, C to G. A very famous example of this is Twinkle, twinkle. That's a very uh, common one. Another song that's not quite as famous as Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but is a song I really love a lot. Um, it's a jazz song uh, by Benny Golson called Whisper Not. Sing low, sing clear. So those two notes, perfect fifth ascending interval. So next we have a minor sixth ascending interval. So the notes for that would be C to A flat. And um, a good example is the song The Entertainer. Um, it's not actually the first two notes in it, but it, you know, it goes, the melody goes. So on the, so ignore those first two notes of, and then listen to. So that, that's your minor sixth ascent.
ascending interval. That could be a good one to remember. Next we have major sixth ascending interval. So that would be like C to A. And the song I always think of for this one is my bonnie lies over the ocean. So my bonnie lies over the ocean. My bonnie, just the first two notes, my bon. My bonnie lies over the ocean. Another one uh, that you could use is another Christmas song, um, Jingle Bells on the dashing through the snow. So on dashing, dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. It's another good example. Again, with all of these, I would just pick one song for each interval, the one that's your favorite, and just first try to memorize that and see if you can remember those. So next we have a minor seventh ascending interval. It sounds like this. And so the notes would be C to B flat. And a good melody that starts with a minor seventh ascending interval uh, is somewhere from West Side Story. There's a place for us to do. Next we have a major seventh ascending interval, so that would be C to B. And a song I like to use to remember this is the Nora Jones song, Don't Know Why. I waited till I saw the sun. I wait, I wait. The first two notes in the song are that big major seventh interval jump. I waited till I saw the sun. Don't know why I didn't come back. Feel as empty as a drum. All right, I will not sing the whole song. <clears throat> Gotta keep moving forward. Keep getting distracted because I want to sing all these songs. Okay, another example of a major seventh ascending interval would be um, pure imagination. Uh, a world of pure imagination. Da, da, da. So it's not the first two notes of the song. Come with me and you'll be in a world. So it's on a uh, and world. A world of pure imagination. A world, a world. Um, I don't like that one as much because it doesn't start with the interval. I prefer Don't Know Why because it's literally the first two notes in the melody. I waited till I saw the sun. But if you like the song Pure Imagination more or you know it better, then use that one. Again, there also are other songs, I'm sure, that I'm just not thinking of. So please write those in the comments below. Also, if you're enjoying this video so far, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment to say hi, it really helps me out a lot. And if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. Uh, I would love if you could subscribe. I post one video a week, and if you like this video, then I'm sure you'll like a bunch of my other videos too. So press the subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on the bell notification as well. Okay, last but not least, we have an ascending octave interval. So this would be, for instance, from C to C. From C to shining C. So, a famous example would be Over the Rainbow. Somewhere over the rainbow. Do, ba, do, do, do. So the first two notes in Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Um, another one, uh, a Christmas one, um, is the Christmas song. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Chestnuts on chest and nuts. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. That's an octave. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Great song by the incredible Mel Torme. <clears throat> and another Christmas song to finish things up, it would be Let It Snow. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Oh, the weather outside, do do do. So again, that's an octave jump right there. I don't think I need to go over the perfect unison interval because it's just the same note played twice. So it shouldn't be very hard to figure out what perfect unison is. If you're given the first note, you just sing the same note again. All right, so those are all the intervals we're going through today. As I said, next week, I'm gonna post a video that goes through the descending intervals. But um, before we go, I'm gonna just give you a quick little quiz and let's see if we can use the melodies to remember some of these intervals, okay? So here's our starting note, C. And I want you to sing for me a major third ascending interval, starting on the C. Can you do it? What, what song did you write down for that? 
So for me, I like to remember that this is Oh, When the Saints Go Marching In. So, oh, when, there it is. Oh, when the saints, so, uh, uh, mm, mm, major third. Cool. And even if you're not a singer, I recommend you try singing these because it's just good for ear training to sing notes out loud. I, maybe the key I'm singing in is a little hard for men to sing. Um, I know men and women have different voices and different um, ranges that they feel comfortable singing in. So if you're a male, you know, feel free to transpose this to a different key. But I do recommend practicing singing along with your instrument if you can. Um, you know, play it on your instrument and then sing it as well because that really helps reinforce the connection to our brain when we sing it. So even if you're not a singer, it's good just to, to try to sing it just to drill it into that brain as much as possible. Okay, now I want you to sing for me um, a major second ascending interval, okay? And this is the first note. So I like to remember just that it's a major scale. It's the Do, Re, Mi song works. Do, Re, Mi, Do, Re, mm -hmm, major second. Cool. Frère Jaca, happy birthday. Any of those work, but do re mi. It's, I think I like to just remember. Oh yeah, first two notes in a major scale. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about a perfect fifth ascending interval? This is your starting note. Which look at which song you might have written down and see if you can figure it out. So here it is. Hello, perfect fifth. I remembered. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Twinkle, twinkle. Okay. What about a major sixth? And this is your starting note. So. That's my favorite one for major six. My pa, do, do, major six. Okay, what about a minor second? Here's your starting note. Remember, this is the Jaws theme song. Cool. Okay, what about an octave? So this is the lower note. What would be an octave higher from that? Somewhere over the river, mm -hmm, da da octave. Cool. Okay, what about a minor seventh ascending interval? This is your starting note. Minor seventh. So this would be somewhere from West Side Story. There's a. Mm -hmm, Minor seventh, there's a place for us. Ooh, ooh. C, B flat. Cool. Okay. How about a minor third ascending interval? Here's your starting note. So, green sleeves is a good one. Alas, my love. Do, 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 do. Okay, what about a major seventh ascending interval? This is your starting note. Major seventh. Big jump. I like to think of the Nora Jones song. Don't know why. I waited till I saw the sun. I waited till... Right? That's a good one. Um, major seventh. Okay, what about a tritone ascending interval? There it is. The Simpsons, the Simpsons, or Maria. I just met a girl named Maria. Okay, I can't remember if we've done this one or not yet, but if we repeated it, then we repeat it, and that's fine. How about a major third ascending interval? Here's your starting note. Oh, when the saints go marching in, da-da, major third. Okay, okay, 
how about minor sixth ascending interval? This is your starting note. because it's not the very first two notes of the song. If anybody can think of a good minor sixth ascending interval, like a song that truly starts with a minor sixth ascending interval, then please let me know in the comments below. I can't think of any at the moment, but the entertainer is not a bad one, but I prefer them when it's the first two notes of the song. So let me know if you have any that you can come up with. Okay, and last but not least, how about a perfect fourth ascending interval to finish things off? So here's your starting note. What will be a perfect fourth up from that? you found this helpful as I said I do recommend writing down one song for each interval that you can use to remember uh, these with and that is it if you enjoyed this video again please give it a thumbs up leave a comment share it with a friend who you think might like it uh, if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing I post one video a week and I'd love to have you on board and be sure to turn on those bell notifications as well as I said earlier if you want to download a printable PDF that has all these song names uh, written out you can do that with a link in the description below. Stay tuned next week for my part seven uh, video for my interval series, which has the descending intervals. And I have links in the description below to all my videos in my interval series. So I recommend you check them out if you want to learn more about intervals in general. All right, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or night and I will see you next week.